Indigenous science refers to the science knowledge of all peoples who, as participants in culture, are affected by the worldview and interests of their home communities and homelands. Yamada, a Japanese historian of Oriental science, writes, every culture and every society has its own science, and its function is sustaining its mother society and culture. Indigenous science is important because it helps people in understanding their natural environment and in coping with everyday life. Although indigenous science involves indigenous beliefs, composed of traditional knowledge and guided by community culture and values, it uses science process skills. According to Johnston, indigenous beliefs develop desirable values, such as practicality, reflective and motivating attitudes, and promote cooperation. Hi, my name is Eddie. Join me as we look at the indigenous science, practiced by three indigenous groups in the Philippines. Ifugas of the Cordillera The major livelihood of the Ifugas are farming, handicraft making, and wood carving. Their farming practices greatly altered the environment, but is recognized as one of the most productive, stable, and sustainable system worldwide. The farming system of the Ifugas is composed of the Peo, rice terraces, Mwiung, woodlot, and the Uma, Swidden. The construction of the Peo has several considerations. There must be a continuous supply of water to avoid drying up the field. There should be excellent drainage to prevent water logging. There should also be an abundant supply of rock materials for walling. The shape of the valley and the fertility of the soil are also considered. Work on the terraces involves Ugbo, Bayanihan. Rice varieties planted include Tunaan, a dry season variety, and Pinadwa, wet season variety. The terraces are kept wet through irrigation to avoid cracks on the embankments and dikes. The selection of the Uma involves several considerations. The land should not be too steep to avoid landslides and erosion. The area should not be rocky to maximize the use of the land. The soil should be fertile to be productive for a long period of time. They perform burning to increase the fertility of the soil through the ashes to regulate the growth of undesired weeds and to drive away destructive animals that might invade and damage the crops. The Mwiung is an area where trees are grown. It is a source of wood for house construction and repair and wood carving. A number of problems emerged in the farming system of the Ifugas. These include educated Ifuga youth not wanting to continue the farming legacy of their elders drought and cracking of soil, soil erosion, and excessive water during rainy season, and pests, like rats, golden kahal, and earthworms. Their traditional medicine include, avocado leaves, to cure stomach ache, young tamarind leaves, to cure cough and colds, ampi leaves, to cure skin diseases caused by fungi, and sap of oako shoots, to treat wounds. The Addis of Panay The Addis are found in the different provinces of Panay, Iloilo, Antique, and Capiz. The major livelihood of the Addis depends on their environment, since they are nomadic by nature. Those who live in upland areas practice Swidden farming. After burning, the area is cleaned using bolos and cultivated using plow and carabao. Carabao manure is used as fertilizer. Hunting with the use of bow and arrow, and trapping animals are other sources of livelihood. Making wallets, bracelets, mats and roof shingles from coconut leaves, are other sources of livelihood. They also engage in fishing, using hook and line. Fish poisoning is also prevalent, 
using the fruit of lagtang. Their traditional medicine include alabushia vine to cure stomach ache and any sickness caused by overexposure to rain and sunshine. Powdered tagola y root is applied to wounds and bruises. Tuguan leaves are used to cure vomiting, diarrhea, and obstructed menstrual flow. How willy leaves are used to cure headache. Dried and powderized dita bark is used to treat stomach ache. Coconut oil mixed with anagos leaves is used to treat rashes, and garlic is applied to snake bites. The Bad Joust of Tawi Tawi. The Bad Joust are boat dwelling people living in stilt houses. Their major livelihood are seaweed farming and fishing. Their fishing methods are environmentally friendly and includes linky, net fishing, hag ambit, deep sea fishing, pahabik or pana, hook and line or spear and arrow, bubu, bamboo fish trap, pitakan, diving weapon, and sankalia, shark fishing. Seashell gathering and mat weaving are done by women and children. Their traditional medicine include sibuka leaves, used to treat loose bowel movement, luya, for rheumatism, mancano leaves, to lessen the pain of dislocated joints, and pantili leaves, for extracting pus. Indigenous science existed in the past, and continues to exist today. It may not be practiced, in most parts of the modern world, but it is still within the realm of science, and is important to some cultures. It is my hope, that you view it as a different, but a complementary way, of understanding the world. It is also my wish, that people explore practical possibilities, for combining indigenous and modern frameworks in understanding nature, and solving science, technology, and environmentally related problems. Thanks for watching. See you next time.